Example 1D. We have exponents in brackets here. So we need to make sure that we understand how the exponents works. So exponents are grouping the number of multiplications. So we have two a's being multiplied and three groups of two a's being multiplied. So we're going to apply the exponent as power to the power. So we end up with, we have to make sure we apply that power to all parts of that base. So I'm going to start with the 3. So I can get 3 to the power 3, and then a to the power 2 to the power 3. Well, that's two twos, sorry, two a's, and three groups of two a's. So that means I have 6. So I multiply those powers together. B, I have three of them. I can connect this with multiplication. So I have negative two. Those numbers should go together. Okay, these parts should go together. And then we're going to group the B's and A's together as well. So we have A, A to the power of four, B squared, and, oh, that's all over negative two, a4, b squared. Now we should try to simplify things whenever we can. So we have common factors here. Well, that's a times 2 divided by, so times by negative 2 divided by negative 2. There's no pluses in here, so this is, there's not, this is all connected by multiplication. So every piece of these represents a factor, which means that a time, any piece on top is times, any piece on bottom is divide, and the times and divide cancel out. Same with this, times a to the power of 4, divide by a to the power of 4, times b to the power of 2, divide by b to the power of 2. So in the end, we're just going to be left with 27, a to the power of 6, b to the power of 3, and anytime things cancel out, we're left with times 1, but times 1 is not going to change our answer here. So we actually have times 1, times 1, times 1. But in the end, it doesn't affect our answer because of that times 1. And it's important to understand that when we cancel multiplication and division, what we have is not 0. When we cancel multiplication and division, we always have 1. Okay, so if we have b divided by b and cancel those out, we're always left with 1 because 1 to b divided by b is equal to 1.